Somewhere in the village of Omuruwombashi, on the side of the road, is a room filled with what most people would consider junk. Pieces of broken wood, wires, plastic, a complete mess. But this is Pavo Shikongo's workshop. The 35-year-old makes artwork from recycled material and the result is often an exquisite piece of art. Congo has been making artwork ever since he can remember, but it was not until three years ago that he realized he could make money of it. Today, Shikongo sells his pieces not only to villages, but also custom makes artwork for orders across the country. The price of the artwork depends on how much work I put into it. If I didn't add too much value, then the price tag will reflect that. But let's say I added paint and other additional accessories, then I will charge accordingly. There is also room for negotiation. Shikongo says being a village-based artist is not easy, especially when he has to travel a combined distance of 80 kilometers to Otapi for art supplies. He believes that practice makes perfect and is encouraging villagers who have a passion for art to pursue their dreams. I have a 5,000 litre water tank that I bought from selling my art. I also installed water at home and I'm busy making bricks to build a house. I also buy all the necessities I need from the money I make from my artwork. Both a father and a husband, the 35-year-old is of the opinion that immersing oneself in art is a good way to stay out of trouble. They must just start. If they don't, they might find themselves hanging around in the location with nothing better to do besides drinking, getting drunk and making choices they are likely to regret. Shikongo is encouraging young people to pay attention to what they are good at and to start honing those exact skills. For his young business, the villager from Omuhuru Wombashe has two dreams to acquire machines to make his job easier and to use his art center for educational purposes. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Omuru Wombash.